Hi everybody and welcome. I know it's been a little while since we've done any kind of tutorial videos or overclocking videos or anything fun like that. I think the last one I did was probably that GTX 660 mobile uh, overclocking video I did with the Asus Republic of Gamers. I did get some new hardware so I definitely wanted to try it out. Um, this is actually the Alienware Alpha i5 model that you can find from Dell. And just because I'm the kind of person that likes to tinker with stuff, it didn't take long for me to go ahead and, of course, look into overclocking it. I'm going to go ahead here and hook up a mouse, and we'll switch ourselves over to our desktop mode. So this is where you're absolutely going to have to be in order to do some overclocking. All right, now we are in, uh, loading up our desktop mode here. So, like I said, this is where you're really going to have to uh, get into the overclocking. Um, the program we're going to be using this time is actually a little bit different. We are going to be using MSI Afterburner instead of the NVIDIA Inspector. Um, it has been a few years since we've done any overclocking, and this has become one of the premier overclocking utilities here. I really like it. It is extremely, extremely easy to use. Very similar to the NVIDIA Inspector, maybe a little bit prettier, but definitely very, uh, very easy to use. So let's go ahead and we'll get it loaded up here. Computer still booting up here. Probably going a little too fast. There we go. So now if you want to go ahead and get MSI Afterburner, um, very easy to find. Just go to Google, Bing, type in MSI Afterburner. It'll take you right to that home page. So if you are wondering about my desktop, and of course I totally missed the MSI Afterburner icon to the left, that's my fiance's actual background. Uh, it's a screenshot from one of her parks in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Love the game, not going to complain. So here's the actual UI for the MSI Afterburner, now that we've got everything loaded up here. Um, it, like I said, it's pretty similar to the NVIDIA Inspector. The biggest two that we are going to be taking a look at today, that's going to be your core clock and your memory clock. Um, so the one thing to keep in mind is the core clock is limited right now by the BIOS to an additional 135 megahertz. You can get around that from what I've read online, but it will require flashing a custom BIOS to the graphics chip, or it might be the bot or the motherboard. Not entirely sure. Either way, that is definitely out of the scope of this video, so we're not going to get a whole lot into it. Um, we are going to go ahead though and crank it up to the extra 135 hertz you see there. And I'm a person that likes pretty round numbers. I'm going to try and get as close as possible to the 300. 301 is pretty good. We'll leave it at that. So this is going to be kind of like your basic overclock. This will give you some extra performance. Um, we're actually going to record some videos using Dying Light. one of my favorite new games that's come out recently for the PC. It came out, I believe, back in February. So let's go ahead, hit Apply. And then we're going to go ahead and load up some of these games here. Um, the first video you're going to see is actually going to be the non-overclocked. That's going to be just your regular standard settings. And then following that, we will show some of the actual overclock settings. Um, one thing I want you guys to keep in mind as, as we're playing, in the top left-hand corner, there's going to be a couple numbers, obviously your frames per second, but also the temperature and the clock speeds. So let's go ahead. I made it in one piece. Now I know how Brecken must have felt running at night. It is no picnic. I made it in one piece. Now I know how Brecken must have felt running at night. It is no picnic. Got a report to him.
I made it in one piece. Now I know how Brecken must have felt running at night. It is no picnic. Gotta report to him and tell him I don't have any antizen.